Good morning, happy Saturday. So I'm gonna teach you something that I call my zero return policy and why I have a zero return policy on people, places, and things when God removes them out of my life. I'm gonna teach you this. So Lord, we just thank you for today. I thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to see another morning. I thank you for every person who's gonna hear this teaching and that they'll be blessed. Pray, Lord, that you'll reveal to them what they need to remove from their lives, things that you have removed that, you know, we need to keep at, at bay. We need to keep it out of our lives. Amen. All right. <clears throat> so I'm coming out of Matthew. Uh, this is the ESV version, Matthew 12, verse 43 through uh, 45. Y'all, you know, I can't see. So uh, this is in the caption in my ESV Bible. It says, return of an unclean spirit. Verse 43 says, when the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places, seeking rest, but finds none. Then it says, I will return to my, home, my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and they dwell there. And the last state of the person is worse than the first. So also will it be with this evil generation. There's a lot of, um, uh, how do you say this? I'm trying to say this so y'all don't listen. You, you might just get mad. But um, there's a lot of times when Lord the Lord God has removed people, places, and things out of your life. Things that we have done, places we go, people we hang with, our thoughts and our behaviors. And when you have been delivered from, like when the Lord has removed some things out of your life so that you could carry out the assignment he has for you, mother, daughter, sister, pastor, whatever that assignment is, boss, coach, whatever that assignment is, that if you, when the Lord removes these things, if you kind of fall back to those uh, old things, old relationships, this uh, this this word about the the spirit the unclean spirit going out basically it it, it goes out and and it, it it develops a stronger uh, a stronghold in your life i'm tripping over my words because forget it i'm gonna just tell you what's going on so uh earlier this week the lord showed me he showed me this through someone actually doing it but then i got it in a in a, a dream and then i got it on a of, of of all places on Facebook where another a video just popped up where a woman was talking about these reconnecting spirits, you know, um, and, and going back into old behaviors and things like that. And in my teaching on Thursday, as I was in the middle of teaching, I was, uh, I was receiving that as well, that people, places, and things that, you know, maybe it's the people. So here's the dream I had. Um, this this person came to me in the dream. It was a relationship that ended. It was a family member from, you know, from a while back and it ended. And this, this person had come into this dream and she was trying to like, you know, hey, like nothing happened. And then uh, we went to a place, a place where I used to hang out, y'all, the clubs. <laughs> and as I was in the environment, it was icky and nasty, but, you know, it felt familiar, right? Because it's something I had did before. And then the thing was the behavior and some of the things that we were doing and saying, y'all. And so literally when I came out of that dream, I was like, no, no Lord, I do not want to go back. I have a zero return policy. I am not going back to where I was uh, before I was delivered um, because I have work to do in this kingdom. So in this season, as we are all looking to soar and we want to push forward, we are doing incredible, mighty, mighty things. But I just want to encourage you, don't, you know, when the Lord has delivered you from an unclean spirit, when he's delivered you from the spirit of, again, you know, out partying or gossip or just the wrong company, sometimes he has to remove people out of your life so that you can carry the aside, so you can move forward. And that person could be a friend, it could be a colleague, it could be a family member, you know, when he removes them out of your life and you pull them back in, you kind of start all over again because you don't know what that person is bringing in to your, you know, to confuse your assignment. That is literally how 
hell works. They drop people in your life to distract you. They put you in places where, again, you know, if you left that world and now you're, you're coming right back to it because it was familiar and it was fun and it was cool. Or you start doing the things, cussing, saying the things, buying the things, eating the things, drinking the things. You start doing, falling right back. And so now these unclean spirit, they literally dwell there. And it says it makes the person in a worse state than they were before. Because now you've allowed, not only does the unclean spirit come back, it comes back with seven. So he might have left with, um, with, um, you know, with a behavior that is like, you know, fornication, drinking, whatever, and come back and it just multiplies seven. It makes it harder for you to get past these things because it takes root into your life. So I have a zero return policy. When God delivers you from something, if he takes you out of an abusive relationship, Here's what you do. You pray for them. You keep them out of Lent. <laughs> you bless them and you keep moving. You don't have to curse people. You, you know, you don't, you know, you don't have to get caught up in nothing. You bless them from a distance. You thank you. Thank you, Lord, for, for showing me what you need to. Thank you for removing these people out of my life. I pray for them. I bless them. Listen, I want everybody to win. I want everybody to find the Lord Jesus. I want you to, I want you to go out and do the best that you can. I want you to be successful. I want all those things for you. I want those things for you. But I have a zero return policy going back because I do not want any of those things to multiply and cause chaos in my life not for the work I've got to do. So I, uh, again, I just wanted to share that. Matthew 12, verse 43 through 45, return of the unclean spirit. I hope that blesses y'all. I hope that blesses y'all. I hope I don't sound mean. If I do, it's, I'm, it's all right. <laughs> you sometimes, you have to make the decision, even in your, in your, just to get peace, you know, just to have peace. Like, you know that you can't be around certain people. You can't go around certain places. Just for the level of peace, you can't go back to where you were. I absolutely refuse. If God removed something from me, that meant it was never meant for me. And I'm okay with that. Be blessed, right? Be blessed, right? Be blessed. Amen? All right, so I thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for everyone who is in this season right now where maybe they are being tempted by a person, a place, or a thing to go back to where they were, do what they used to do, talk like they used to talk. You know, if, if there's anyone under the sound of my voice who's being tempted right now like this, Lord God, I ask that you will destroy every single attack the enemy has laid out for this person. I ask that you will bless them and deliver them so that when they will not fall into any trap. And any person who's seeking to reconcile in this season, Go to God and he'll tell you what to do. Sometimes, again, you got to reconcile from a distance. You got to pray for people from a distance and just bless people and keep it moving. <laughs> Amen. All right, y'all. I love you. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.